A reading from the book, from reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, um, chapter 13. No commentary. From that time, some people who were present there told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of the sacrifices. He said to them in reply, Do you think it is that because these Galileans suffered in this way that they are greater sinners than all other Galileans? No, by means. By no means. By no means, by no means. I, but I tell you, if he did not repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 people who were killed when, when the Tower of Siloam fell on them, do you think that they were more guilty than anyone else who lived in Jerusalem? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will, you will all perish as they did. And he told them in this parable, there was once a person who had a fig tree planted in his orchard, and when he came in search of fruit on it but found none, he said to the gardener, For three years now I have come in search of fruit on this fig tree but found none, so cut it down. Why should it exhaust the soil? He's, no, so cut it down? Why should it exhaust the soil? He said to him in reply, Sir, leave it, for this year also I shall cultivate on the ground above it and fertilize it, that it may it, uh, fertilize it, it may bear fruit in the future. Not If not, you can cut it down. He was teaching in the synagogue on the Sabbath, and a woman was there who was who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. He was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he, sa he called to her and said, Woman, you are free from the all. Free, you are, woman, you are set free from your infirmary. Um, he said, he laid his hands on her, and she at once stood up and stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, "There are six days when work should be done. Come on, those six days to be cured, not on the Sabbath day." The Lord said to him in reply, "Hypocrites, do not eat. Do not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox on his or his ass from the manger and leave it out to watering. Leave it out for watering. This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for eighteen years now, ought she not have set her free on Sabbath day from this bondage? When he said this, all of his adversaries were humiliated." And the whole crowd rejoiced at all the splendid deeds done by him. Then he said, "What king? What is the kingdom of God like? To whom? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed. <sighs> Sorry, my earphones. It is like a mustard seed that a person took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches." Again, he said. To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with these measures of wheat and flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. He passed through the towns and villages, teaching as he went and making his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, will only a few people be saved? He answered them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate, for many, I tell you, will attempt to enter, but none will be strong enough. After the master of this house has arisen, and lock the door. They will set the, there. Then you will stand outside, knocking and saying, "Lord, open the door for us." He will say to you in reply, "I do not know where you are from." And you will say, "We drank and ate in your company, and you taught and you taught in our streets." Then he will say to you, "I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, all you evil doers." And they will be wailing and grinding up teeth as you can set when you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob on all the prophets of the kingdom of God, and you yourselves cast out. And people will come from the east and the west, from the north and south, and will recline at a table in the kingdom of God. For behold, some are some at last uh, for behold, some are last who will be first, and some are who are first will be last. At that time, some Pharisees came to him and said, Go away, leave this area, because Harold wants to kill you. He replied, Go tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons, and I perform healings today and tomorrow, and on the third day I accomplished my purpose. 
I must continue on my way today, tomorrow, and the following day, for it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, who you who you killed the prophets and stoned those who sent you? How many times I yearn to gather your children together as hen as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you are unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned, but I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Okay, chapter 14. Uh, thank you for spending your time with the Lord, and we'll see you there. Have a great evening.